Okay, let's make sure we add space to all of these. Do do do. All right, so <clears throat> we have our handlers in place, but currently they don't do anything except for. Um, no, actually they don't do anything. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's actually make it connect to our database. Type ORM. Uh, I spelled this wrong, didn't I? Yes, of course. And from dot dot slash or entities slash grocery list. I'm gonna put a space here. And let's also dot dot slash entity slash item. Cause I figure might as well do it all in one place, but we'll we'll see if we end up doing that or not. Uh Alright, so we need the grocery list item here and the item entity here. Alright, so let's see. The first route is showing everything and as Pretty simple. We're just gonna do a cons gross groceries equals and we're just gonna do a await grocery list dot find and this will return to us everything. So it's gonna be a grocery list array. And we'll just do a Res dot status of 200, 200 for being okay, and groceries. And currently, um, <clears throat> we're gonna get back an empty array because nothing has been created yet. So let's uh let's also do the same thing here. Cons grocery. It's gonna be a type grocery list. Oh wait, grocery list dot find, and this one we want to find by the ID that's provided in the request params. So let's quickly destructure the ID from request dot params, and we're gonna find. <clears throat> where the ID is is equal to ID, and of course we do a res dot status of two hundred dot JSON uh, gross yeah grocery. Now you'll notice that it is <clears throat> um, underlined. Oh, now that's because of this. Okay, I guess it's not underlined. <clears throat> well, um, before let's do one. There should be yeah invalid syntax UUID of one. Oh right, one is not a UUID. I was expecting it to not be something else. All right, anyways. Um, so if nothing is found, I let's actually do that. I'm gonna check if if grocery exists. If it doesn't exist, we're gonna throw an error. Error. Um. Let's see. Grocery list. Um. Doesn't exist. I'm just gonna use backticks here, uh, just so. I could include the quote. Okay, slash two. That's that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Um, creating is also going to be pretty simple as well. So grocery. 
of type grocery list is going to be awaits and what's it called grocery list dot create a body request dot body I read that status 201 for created grocery alright so currently it's not gonna it's gonna throw an error if we try it um that is simply because I did not install body parser yeah so we need to do that uh, yarn add body dash parser we also want uh, the types for body parser at types slash body dash parser and it's gonna be a dev dependency so dash d okay and let's import it at the top star as body parser from body dash parser was Oh, there we go. Um, let's just put it. Yeah, let's put it here. At that use body parser dot json. And let's see what do we need in grocery list has a ID so it's gonna have a name and items all right so let's let's go do that so this is gonna be a post request and that's from the polls that I did so we need a name and let's start with Walmart Walmart and post name Walmart and do a get to see what was created and that is because I forgot to save so you need to save your transactions um, dot save await oh, uh, because it's it's a SQL database so it needs to save Actually, you need to save with Mongo too, so. Yeah, just always save your transactions before you can do stuff, so. Let's post again. There it is. Walmart's created. There's the UUID. And there's the created date. So if we do a get to all of them, we can see it here. And then if we do a get to the specific one, we can see it here. Um, but as you can see that it's not handling the relationships with the list quite yet and that is that could simply be fixed here we we'll just do the we'll add the a relationship property here relate what is it not there where do you put it um relations 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 Uh, items. This is the right one. Items, yes. Relations, items, comma. Pretty sure that's the correct syntax. Let's try that again. Items is no. Hmm. Test. Okay, this should break. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that's this is how you handle real <coughs> relationships in with Typeform. You just set a secondary. You just add to the object that you're finding. The relationship property relations property is an array of all the relations that you want to add in, and make sure that the names um that matches the 
name property of your class. And that should work. Let's also add it here. Do items. So gets and get everything. And everything that works correctly. Um, items is currently null, which we'll fix it when we start adding items. Okay, so now we just need to do updates and deletes. So update was going to go here. Cons grocery grocery list equals await grocery list dot find one where id id uh, we also have to or we, we want to get the id from request.params and let's see what was the syntax for updating um, da, 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 da. Oh, okay we just treat this as an object so um, the await grocery dot save here res that status dot 200 oops, dot json grocery and then the pivotal step is in here where we just uh, edit the grocery object um, with JavaScript so let's see uh, the only thing that we want to edit is the name property so we just do a grocery dot name equals to request dot body dot name and that looks about right so update is going to be a put request actually we need to have the id for this slash id i do a put change the body and let's make this uppercase save and then we forget it now. All right, cool. Uh, the only thing is I would rather have the relationship here also. So relations, relations is gonna be items. And then deletes is also gonna be pretty similar. So cons ID equals request.params. And then do 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 cons grocery grocery list equals await grocery list dot find one where id relations items and Let's see, deleted is instead of save, we're gonna call grocery dot remove res dot status dot two hundred dot JSON grocery. Alright, uh let's check that really quick. So let's just delete it and see what happens. No, if we get it now, it should be gone. Grocery list doesn't exist. That's correct. There is no status being sent in. That we can fix that later. And we're back to an empty array. All right, cool. That is. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to get over with in this video. So. Well, I guess we don't need this type form either because that, all of the functionality is included with our, with our entity that we created. 
So yeah. So that's basic CRUD functionality. We create, we're able to create a list of stuff. And in the next video, we're gonna handle the relationships with the items of each list. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.